Hey guys, it's Mrs. G from Mrs. G Sewing Space. I'm just doing a quick little vlog to let you guys know what I've been up to, which isn't much. I'm just preparing for my next videos. But I have been playing with my em embroidery machine here lately, and I do have some resin items here that I'm waiting to dry. Uh, some things are dried. Oop, there we go. Put you guys in view there. There's some things that are dry, and that uh, these are going to be magnets for, I don't know, for whatever reason, just because I like to make them. And uh, have, they have just like little bits of desserts in them. They're frosted, but I'm going to paint some UV resin over them so that they are clear. And then I have some more magnets coming out, but you can't see what those are because of the... I need to put another layer to cover that. And these are the Sophie and Toffee vending machine. I don't know if you guys know what Sophie and Toffee is, but they're uh, resin art uh, websites and supplies that are they're out of somewhere in Asia, I think, and they create their own molds and things, and they have boxes called, um, what are they called? I have them over here. Um, Elves box. So here, I got them stacked up under here. They're called Elves boxes by Sophie and Toffee, and I've already opened them and plundered them, but you get all sorts of things, like you get stuff to put in your UV resin, you get glitter, you get all sorts of stuff, and and so I've gotten a couple of boxes there, and I really enjoy doing resin. But it's one of those things where I really like making the resin, and I like doing stuff. But other than magnets, I'm not really sure what I I should do that's purposeful and not wasteful. Um, but I really enjoy doing it, so I, I don't... It's one of those hobbies where I'm like, mm, I don't want to put too much money into it. I'd rather put more money into fabric and sewing and my embroidery machine and everything. But... I really like the resin too. I like how it looks and things like that. So like this one, this one is actually a maze. It's right now it's covered. And here, let me put you guys on a stand real quick. Okay, here we go for a second. Give me just a second here. Nope. That way, this way. Okay, here we go. Okay. So I'm putting you on a stand real quick. So right here, this is the UV resin. I did this last night, and this is actually, um, it's a, in a mold. So I'll just have you guys watch me unmold it. I was going to hold off, but I'll go ahead and do it right now with you guys. So I'm like, I have a thousand and one hobbies, and this just happens to be one that I like too. All right, here we go. Here's the big reveal. The resin is still pretty soft, so it's still very malleable, and so it's bendy. But it's pretty solid. That's that's pretty good. I like that. I like that a lot. Look at there. I used alcohol ink to make the colors, and I just made a whole I made a whole bunch of resin, and then duded it out so that the alcohol ink was in individual colors, like yellow, orange, and red, and blue and green, and it kind of mixed to make that purpley color right there. That's really nice. I, I really like those. And this came, this mold came out of a Sophie and Toffee box, one of the elves boxes. And I really liked how that turned out. There's some spots in here. I didn't get all the holes out. So you can see, oh wait, not that one. But right here. Can you see that spot right there? You may not be able to see it. My camera may not focus. But there's a hole right there. That means there's an air bubble there that I didn't get out. And a couple more around here. But the... The box this mold came in also had steel ball bearings so I can put it in there and then cover it with a plastic sheet and dome it and I would have my own little maze. And that's adorable. I love that. I also have another one here. This also came from Sophie and Toffee and this is actually the back side. I'm going to put another layer of translucent resin on top. Either translucent or tinted. Probably translucent because of the embeds right here. And then send, that's the front of it. It looks like a game controller. So I'll do that one. And I'll go ahead and unveil, undo these two. So this was a vending machine. So if anybody does Sophie and Toffee, and they'll know which ones I'm talking about. So this is the vending machine one. Also playing with the translucent alcohol inks. Just to, just playing around, not, not with anything in particular. So this is the first time I've used this mold. So let's see. Ooh, there we go. There we go. What do you guys think? That's kind of cool. 
for so for anybody who does resin they kind of know uh using the alcohol ink and the white alcohol ink gives you these different kind of cool i don't know little bits here it just makes it look very interesting and nifty to me but i didn't use white alcohol ink i just used white groovy resin which kind of gave me all that so there's that one and i got one more let's unmold this one so this is what it looks like in the mold front and back so let's see what this, and then after this i've got to go because i got other things to do so here we go let's see how this one turned out and you hear my dog barking in the background i'm sure you do i gotta go let him in oh there you go and there's that one that is way nifty i like that one a lot so sophie and toffee also gave oh here it is this is all white but these are teeny weeny little like soda cans i don't know can you see that i don't know if my phone will focus it's a little soda can that you can put inside you know inside here because these are supposed to be like a shaker and you put them in there and then you cover it with the plastic and then you can shake it around so i've got that that's a little can of coke or something and then you have let's see bag of chips and I did doll wipe just because I was playing around some more chips and then you have like I guess a little soda pop and here's another bottle of some sort of soda pop look at that so cute and look all right so there's another soda pop and then we have also a teeny weeny candy bar I don't know can you see that little candy bar there that's way cute and then another bag of chips so that's so cool oh, oh. so anyways that's what I've been working on I haven't I've been sewing and I've been preparing for my next zipper videos and I think and I'm thinking after my zipper videos I'm going to take an old sweatshirt of mine and install a separating zipper on the front so that well, so that you, you can know how to install another zipper. And that's where I'm at for the moment. And other than that, and all my, my resin stuff going on here, which I love this one. I loved how this one turned out. This one's just absolutely awesome. I can't wait to finish that one out. Once I get it finished, I'll let you guys know how it looks in my next video. So anyways, it's Thursday. The weekend's almost here. I'm going to be off and running about, running amok with the, with the weekend, doing more sewing, definitely more, um, what is that again? My embroidery machine stuff. And, and I'll have more videos coming out. And I will, guys, uh, yeah, that's it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.